Hey guys, I'm Jasmine, I'm Marcella. and we just got back from the movies. We just saw Shazam! <laughs> guys, this movie was amazing. <laughs> guys, it was we so good. loved this movie yeah. so much. This like, movie was so much fun. It was hilarious. Like, I'm pretty sure I haven't laughed at, like that in a movie in, in forever. In so long. Like, yeah, it was so much fun to just sit down and like, we knew it was gonna be funny, but I don't think we realized how funny it was gonna be. And guys, there's so much like heart in this movie. Like it's very yeah. heartwarming as well. Like it's family is a huge theme, and mm -hmm. I loved every single character, and I loved the yeah. plot. And this movie was just fantastic. It was funny. It was light. I feel like every character had so much depth to them in a movie there was like this. So and much development. Exactly. And this kind of movie, like you. It, it's like you're not even like it's like they weren't even trying to give them so much development It just happened naturally throughout the plot and it wasn't like forced It was just like I feel like every character just stood out. And was, yeah, was really just great and enjoyable and yeah Yeah, I mean we love this, we movie. Love this movie. This is probably one of our favorites of the year Maybe like this is one of our favorite DC films. That's for sure Yeah, like, definitely. For I think Wonder Woman and Aquaman are still kind of like up there for me But this is like right there like I loved oh, yeah. this so much like you guys like if you have not seen this you have to see it. Go see it. Yeah. It, it, I didn't expect it to be like, I knew it was going to be good because yeah. the trailers looked awesome, but I didn't expect to love it as much as I loved it. Yeah, and I feel like um, with DC, like you kind of always expect like more like a darker film, even though like Aquaman had its light moments here and there, but it I, was still heavy. Yeah. It was still heavy. This like, I light. don't think you ever expect like a light, fun movie to come out of DC, like something that's mm -hmm. not dark. And, yeah. it, and like, even though this movie, like, I'm not saying, like, oh, it's just, like, the light, it's super light and fun and li and it's funny the entire time. Like, no, there's, like, a lot of, like, emotion in it as well. And mm -hmm. it's just, it's just a great movie. It reminds me, it reminded me of a lot, um, certain moments reminded me of the movie Big, if you've ever seen that. It's kind of similar. Like, it's basically, like, a kid becomes a like superhero. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And it's just so funny because it's so true. Like, these kids are, like, It was 14, very realistic. And it was basically, so like, exactly, exactly what would happen if a 14-year-old all of a sudden got these powers yeah. and turned into, like, this other person in a way. Like, it's just, it's a great movie. I think that rating yeah. wise, rating wise, like, I give it an A. A plus. A plus. A plus. Yeah, it was, we loved it. It was I, really, really fun to watch. It was so Very much fun. Enjoyable, yeah. yeah, now we're going to talk about some more spoilers. So if you have not seen it, please go see it. Go see it. This movie was go fantastic. I promise you're going to love it. And then you can come back and we can talk all about it. The beginning of the movie, I was a little confused, I will say, like, in the very, very beginning, because, like, I was trying to figure out, like, yeah. who was the hero, like, if he was a villain or the hero story, side of the story that we were getting I first. I wasn't confused and... long, though. No. It, it wasn't a confusing no, plot. No, 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 Even, like, the whole story, like, I feel like it was a lot to dump at us with the but whole, it was like, seven deadly really sins. really well executed, Yeah, though. it was a lot, it's a lot of, it was a lot of information, but the way that they told it, was it was easy to understand with yeah. the seven deadly sins and all of that and yeah, like definitely. that whole backstory of like with like the wizard and like the seven deadly sins that got like unleashed i actually thought it was really cool that they incorporated that and i we actually we enjoy uh mythology like that mm -hmm. so i really love that they brought that in and i thought it was just so cool the way that they used the seven deadly sins in the plot, like for yeah, characters, they were how the they monsters. yeah, that was really yeah, cool. yeah, but how they used it, like the part with greed and how greed ended up getting the father, mm -hmm. and then at the end with envy, like I like the use of them. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, I like the whole um backstory of the villain that we got in the beginning of the movie. I thought that that was really well done. How we got that backstory with his father and like the crash, and he just wanted that power, and he was so yeah. hungry for that power at such a young age and he seemed like and he had a bad life like his oh, yeah. family was really mean his dad him. was not yeah. a good influence and that's really where he learned to like to want that power mm -hmm. and he spent his whole life like looking for yeah that looking looking for, for the wizard yeah. and he want he wanted to be worthy and he wasn't and yeah so i know. yeah exactly i really love the depth they gave him and his father guys if you've ever seen smallville lionel luther and, and lionel luther played literally lionel luther, lionel luther in this <laughs> it was movie. so funny that was literally lionel luther. <laughs> he was lionel luther yeah. and it was just i mean that's one of our favorite superhero shows so yeah, i was excited to see him it was really movie. cool we were like oh my god it's lionel luther and then um, the foster father was Jerry from Walking, from Dead. Walking yeah. Dead. And later on, you see, we see Adam Brody. Adam Brody like, was in we there. We were excited to see like a bunch of actors that we like. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, I thought Billy as a character was super likable, like, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. But when he first joins the Foster family and we see him on the subway and he first gets those abilities, it's hysterical. Like, when he's on the subway and then all of a sudden, like, he has the suit and he's just like, what the hell is going on? I and thought it was really realistic. Like, the way yeah. that, like, when he gets these powers... And that's really what kids would do. They would go yeah. and they would test. They'd be like, what powers do we have? And I, What do we can I do? Let's do whole, everything. <laughs> yeah, I love that whole, um, like, when they're sh it going through, like, him testing all the powers. And we have um, the music in the background. Yeah, we have wonderful. Queen, we have playing. queen playing. And it's, like, the flight <laughs> test and, then, like, the, vi the laser oh, test fun. and, and yeah, all the different tests we're going to And I love that Freddy was a part of it because he goes to him. Because in the very beginning of the movie, they had that conversation about, like, oh, what kind of superhero ability would you want to have? Mm -hmm. And then um, how we knew that he could confide in Freddy, like, yeah, right off the that bat. that really brought them closer yeah. together, too, because they didn't get along at first, and he didn't really fit in with that family at first because yeah. he didn't want to, and he was still holding on to, to the hope, of, the his hope of his mom, which was really, really sad, honestly, because that whole story was just heartbreaking. She was yeah. a young mother, and she lost him at the carnival, and then yeah. she basically just, like, was like, left he's gonna be him. better off without me, and just left, and yeah. abandoned him, like, completely, and even when he went looking for her, she still didn't. Was, she was like, oh, yeah, you're just, like, here to say that you're fine, right? And he was like, he, he realized, he, like, he needs to be with that family, yeah, and, I love and that, that was his, that. that was where he needed to be, yeah, and that was his family now. And I love that he was like, he was like, I'm going back to my real mm -hmm. family, yeah. and I really like that they showed the scene with, um, him getting, like, the keychain of the compass, like, from the mom's point of view, and then his point and of the view. the mom did not even know and what it was. And the mom didn't even realize what it was no. that she gave him. That and that's really the moment where so he long. realized, like, yeah. you know, this is not... Where I yeah. should be. Yeah, I mean, I I loved it because I felt like it really brought the foster family together and how, like, you create your own family. It's mm -hmm. not just blood. And I love the brotherly feelings with Freddie and then, like, yeah. his sister Darla. Like, she I just really loved funny. it. I love all of the foster <laughs> all kids. The they foster all had kids. their own personalities. I thought that Darla was so funny when they told yeah. her when she found out the secret. <laughs> and they're, like, sneaking up there and then... He co like he quickly covers Darla's mouth. He says Shazam, and he turns into Billy again. And that was just like really funny. As she's like keeping the secret, and he, he's like, "You want to be a good sister? You have to keep the secret." And then later on, when they all find out, she's like, "I was a good sister. I was a good sister. You found out on your yeah. own." It I was hysterical. Uh -huh. There were so many amazing moments in this movie. Yeah. Like I love this scene when he first gets his abilities, and they go to like the drugstore to go, yeah. and they're like, they're "We're gonna to buy get, alcohol." Like, get the beer. Yeah. And they get beer, and first they get mugged, and the guy shoots the him, and the bullet, like, goes off, and like, bulletproof! And it's so funny, because, like, Freddie's, like, documenting all of this. It's so realistic to what kids would do. I and love he's it. he's uploading yeah. all of this all to, of YouTube. to YouTube. <laughs> like, I just thought it was just so, it was so it crazy. Was so yeah. funny. They come out, and they got their beer, and then they drink it, <laughs> and they spit it out. And then they go get a bunch of chips. And, and like, stacks of, like, <laughs> soda. Yeah. Yeah, that was and then so you great. see them like playing video games, and I love like him going into like the gentleman's club to get the bubble <laughs> away. <laughs> and then at the end of the movie, that's the first place you thought of, and they're like covering Darla's eyes. <laughs> I love it. One of my favorite parts is when they're sitting with like the bank lady and they're telling her that they want to buy a lair. Like they need a secret lair. And they're like, she's just like, let's start with how many bedrooms? And he's like, one. And he's like, seven. And they're like, we want it overlooking the water. Yeah, we I want to be able to drive through it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I look, later on at the end of the movie when they're in like the yeah. cave, they're like, this is our way! We got we it. found it! It's like, yes! <laughs> oh gosh. There was just so many, it was so, so much fun, honestly. I really loved um, seeing his progression as a superhero, I thought was mm -hmm. really cool. Like, you know, we saw the scene when he's like taking pictures oh, yeah. and giving like autographs and he's like having fun, like he with started, the lightning. Yeah, like he started. And it started, started kind of getting to his head. And He's, I love that yeah. Freddie called him out on his bullshit. And yeah. I really like that. Like, they kind of had to understand, like, the balance of, like, like doing something together. Again, though, that's, and, it yeah. was very realistic because a kid doesn't understand, yeah. like, responsibility fully. So he didn't understand, like, the weight of what, like, what, what his he powers had, ha that, the powers that he had and how to use them. And, yeah, I really like that he 
realize that throughout the, it was it was like it was like a slow progression of him realizing I have these powers and I need mm -hmm. to use them like well for good and like I'm not like just like taking yeah. selfies and like using it to get money from people. Yeah. Well, I thought it was really um the scene with the bus when the bus was like going down and that's like his first time having to like save <laughs> people. <laughs> And he's in like the dog is there. And he's like, can you move? <laughs> and he's like holding this bus. <laughs> and it was just yeah. like so funny. It and was really funny. Yeah, like I loved having like a kid, like a 14 year old be a superhero and mm -hmm. get these abilities that like yeah. you never thought that you would ever get. Even and during like the fight and stuff, he was like running he, away. Oh my god, he was getting his ass kicked. Yeah, because yeah. he's a kid. He's 14. Exactly. He's a kid, obviously. Yeah. And so yeah. Yeah, the first fight scene, it was really cool, though, seeing him, um, he'd be like, oh, like, you're the bad guy, like, you're the villain, yeah. I have to fight you now, like, okay. Yeah. And then he realized, like, okay, wait, I have to fly, I have to fly, and he's like, I believe I can fly, I believe yeah. I can fly, and then that was what he needed to be able to fly, I thought that was really cool, mm -hmm. that fight scene, and then how it took place in the mall, and then mm -hmm. he did the Shazam, and then he became a kid again and ran away, yeah. and used that as his, um, as, like, a way out like being a kid and I love that at the end of the movie he used him being a kid also as a way of like fighting like he like would duck under him mm -hmm. and then when yeah. he had envy like on top he was like shazam and then the lightning came uh -huh. like I love that he was able to use use that being a kid as well as being a superhero and finding mm -hmm. that balance I thought that was really great yeah and then I don't know if this was just me because I really enjoyed the movie big like I love that movie so I feel like the during in the mall when he was on the piano I felt like that was like a big reference yeah. I don't know if it was it probably was but like I caught that and then obviously at the end being in like a carnival was probably also similar too but I love the shot when he's like on the roof and he goes shazam as he's like running off the roof and you get like the lightning shot coming down and that's mm -hmm. when he goes to like save his family and it's kind of like that moment where like everything came together and he just let go of his mom like the past yes, and he yes, embraced yes. it like I love that and then, and then he flies and then he yeah, flew to go save them yeah I thought that mm -hmm. was really great and then this leads us to the whole ending the fight scene at the end was awesome I love it was so good I love how involved the other kids were yeah. in the fight and I love how they um then when they show up like once he like he's like in the lair and then they show up with like yeah, these like nerf the guns and, stuff, and they like have like all these we like weapons and yeah. it was just like they like it start running so and they're like cute. yeah you guys can put down your weapons because like it's not gonna work it was so cute but, yeah I thought that was really heartwarming yeah. I loved all of the kids I, I thought that um I love the pa the foster parents I thought that they foster. were I love how I love involved, how involved they were. we were talking yeah. about this in the car you know normally in a lot of like superhero movies and stuff you don't really see the parents being involved no you, know? you can tell they really cared and loved like all those kids yeah. and I thought that was really really it was just really heartwarming and I say. love that like they would put their hands in on the middle on the table and then at the yeah, end of the, the movie, end he was the one that did it was the one that yeah. started it I thought that was so cute mm -hmm. and but I love that they were involved also in the giant fight scene at the end and they yeah, all became they heroes, all become heroes. <laughs> yeah that was one of my favorite parts he puts the stick down he's like you have to say my name <laughs> And I'm like, Billy! <laughs> no, no, did they even no. ask them? I'm turning them. <laughs> and then we had them all be superheroes and they were all like fighting because all the kids were worthy. And I just, I love the whole fight scene. And the villain. That's he's the guy from Kingsman. It yeah, we us, realized he was from Kingsman. It took us to the end. It took us to the end. Out the glasses. I was like Kingsman. Yeah, it was really cool having him there fighting and the love the fight scene at the end on the top. I of thought the that the roof. fight scene was really really long too. It wasn't it like was. this quick fight scene where it was like over in two seconds. It yeah. went on a long time. Well, and I thought it was really like cool to see like like each they of like the kids the like seven, fighting the yeah. seven, the seven deadly sins and I love that it was at a carnival and mm -hmm. yeah the, I thought the fight scene was really cool. I thought having it be around Christmas time was even was made it even greater. The Santa that was like running around was funny. <laughs> and then and then Darla and like the older yeah. daughter was like, I'm Darla and I'm very good. <laughs> it was 
so funny. Yeah, and there's just so many moments. There's so many more moments that we died at, like laughing. Yeah, that we can't even remember right now, it, but it was just great. It, it was, was hilarious. So, it's hysterical, yeah. this movie. Like, I, I think we can't just stop gushing and just laughing about it because it was so great. Like, I love this scene when they're like on the top and they're like, yeah, he, the guy's like, he's saying, like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna do this. And you hear him, he's like, You're like a mile away. What are you yeah. saying? <laughs> of a superhero movie at some yeah. parts from like the perspective of like a kid it was like yeah. it, was so, it was so funny it was so funny <laughs> i love that they you that he used envy against him and he like egged him on to get that emotion that villain that demon thing like out of him mm -hmm. and then he used, <laughs> he's holding it and then he's just like, like he and then and he, then like, he pretends it but he was like like oh no he's gonna put it in his yeah. eye now but it's like no that was like the obvious thing that would happen in like a movie like that it was just yeah. so fun. and then i love at the last scene you know um it's like they're back at the lunch table and like all of the kids are sitting at the lunch table with freddie <laughs> and then like he comes billy comes in as shazam and he's like and then he's like yeah and i brought a friend and like he's super, super man like he's like the top of it and he's just like <laughs> I love that. I love that like, was a perfect way to end it because yeah, yeah that was a perfect. Way and to then end the it. credits were hysterical again, and obviously they're making another one, which is really really exciting yes, because, because I can't wait. To see I guess more he's gonna be the villain this. again. I guess he is. I mean, he's a fantastic actor, so I guess they're gonna keep him because he has a really good development already. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm very excited though. I feel like it's gonna be really good, and this is a really great, fun new new. Tr I think it's gonna be three. Are they doing two? I don't know how many. They're I don't doing, know, but, but I'm excited so to see fun. the next one because this was a really great movie. Yeah, we had a lot of fun watching it. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Let us know what your favorite parts were. What were your favorite lines? And yeah, let's talk about all that stuff down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this review, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more movie reviews. What's the next one that we're doing? Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery. We're going to say, apparently. <laughs> you can also follow our Twitter and Snapchat. We are at City of the Thank Field. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.